all right check me out so this video is going to be different but a little similar to the last one basically the main thing is how many of these people walking around are actually uh manifested angels okay um and whether archangel or you know super fancy stuck up archangel or uh you know just regular angels um because you have all different types of angels and one of the types is just an angel um They're the, they're the closest to man, okay? They're the, they're the most like man, I guess. And they act as messengers. That's the average person would be a manifested angel. You would think, but over, over time, we have this great lingering fear Okay, the biggest fear of all, in my opinion, is the fear of losing your identity. That could be the root of the fear, the cause of the fear of death. That you're going to lose your identity. And I think a lot of spirits have lost their identity. And no longer manifest, uh, and are no longer qualified to be angels, I don't think. They don't have their own, yeah, they've just, they become some type of, I don't know, uh, identity with like a, like some type of monster. Like a monster doesn't really have an identity. It's just a fucking monster. And there could be races of beings that represent this. This could be maybe what H.P. Lovecraft was talking about, you know, with, uh, with his like alien races, crab-like, octopus-like beings or whatever. These could be one, they could have been angels once but have given themselves over to just being these fucking extremely dark, extremely evil weapons of Satan, basically. They've taken Satan as their God. Now, a lot of the people out here, these serial killers out here, um, they won't qualify to be to be in that race. They're still be coming back as people. I guess you know this race. Maybe they their lives last for two thousand years or who knows. But uh, they keep coming back as people, as fucking serial killer after serial killer after Nazi after fucking cult leader or whatever after serial killer. Um, every lifetime. Why? Why haven't they just joined this? fucking, I don't know, ancient uh, dragon race or whatever. Whatever. I don't know. You, you expect me to know? Sorry, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not one of them. <laughs> I need to get one to flip. That'd be the, you know, but, um, yeah, the, uh, whatever they are, um, these serial killers are not qualified to be them because they still have their identity they don't they haven't completely given themselves over to the the power of satan they still have their uh their idea that they're maybe superior to satan or on satan's level um that their identity okay, is, is intact, whereas maybe these other beings, these gray aliens or whatever, are just souls that have just lost, now, I'm saying, if you have your identity, you get to manifest into flesh, you know, from time to time, because if you don't have your identity, then, you know, you, man, you manifest into human flesh, if you don't have your identity, then you're fucking manifesting into these uh, underwater beings that live for thousands of years or whatever. Um, and this could be why a lot of these people look the same. Why I was thinking, oh, this person is that demon. And then and they're also like, because they've lost their fucking identity. They all look the same. They don't have, um, you know, really, they're, or they're losing it, you know, lifetime after lifetime. I don't know.
But anyways, back to the motherfucking subject. Um, you know, so how many people, I think Buddha was saying, or, you know, some Eastern philosophy was talking about how only one out of every four beings uh, actually have souls, you know, or actually are angels. Maybe a lot of these people that you're seeing out here um, are, in fact, these thousand-year-old fucking crab entities that can maybe shapeshift into people or they're of their bloodline you know I don't fucking know but I'm saying maybe it's like one out of every four people are an actual angel manifested into flesh or you know whatever whatever the percentage is I don't know maybe that could be in the east you know as what Buddha was saying Maybe they just got more snake people out there, more crab people or whatever, frog people. I don't fucking know. Um, but anyways, so... Yeah. Um, maybe like 500 archangels or angels of renown, but... You know, is, every, is everybody a, a manifested angel? I don't think so. You know, I think a lot of people could just be these manifested, uh, malign spirits. You know, you see a lot of these retards and a lot of these, like, people born without whatever. You know, they could just be those... Those fucking crab people manifested in the flesh. I don't know. You know, um... I thought they were demons, obviously, if you follow me. But now it seems to be more of a DNA thing. It seems to be more of a... A hybrid type thing. Um, and I think maybe, you know, just the nature of humanity. Uh, I think we, you know, we have these... Uh, these separate DNA um, qualities. I don't know. Uh, like we have snake DNA. We have maybe the crab people DNA. We have uh, water ape DNA. And I don't know. Maybe if you just some people just like like me and my friend were playing basketball the other day and. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about this one dude trying to... We were talking about the game after it went down. And I was like, yeah, uh, you know, the guy, I look like a lizard. And we were talking about some other shit later, and he just called him lizard. <laughs> he said, he said, yeah, lizard did something. Like, the motherfucker looked like a lizard, like, for real. Like, I don't know. Uh, maybe his mom had sex with the Lyle, who was, uh, you know... Overlord of the draconian fucking whatever. You know, she made a sex offering to him to get a better position at her job. And, uh, I don't fucking know. Beats me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling y'all what's going through my head and, uh, You know, it doesn't make me successful in life or anything, but, uh, yeah, it does. 